Orkin has been dealing with this rat infestation for over nine months and has not been able to solve it. Carlos and his mother gave us a call and said, twins, we really, really need you. We can no longer live with these rats any longer. Please come and help us and figure this out. And we're about to get started right now. Guys, when you're dealing with rodents and you have a pest control company and they're at your home for nine months, that's shocking to me because our pest control company should literally be able to solve your problem even in the most severe cases within 30 days. So before we go in and meet Carlos and his mom, right off the bat, if you're dealing with this type of situation with the pest control company and they can't solve it, they are not the right fit. You need to look elsewhere. So let's go in and meet Carlos and his mom and uh, let's see what we can do to help them. How are you? I'm Jimmy. Okay, Jimmy, do you want me to open the other door? Uh, the other gate? Or is it okay with this No, one? it's okay. It's okay. Yep. Hey, Jimmy. What's I that? you find the problem. It's been going on for oh, some time, yeah. huh? <laughs> so your mom was telling me that this has been going on for... December 2020 is when we first saw the rabbit. 20 or 21? 20, but the, um, the, the noises, we didn't know what it was. Probably since, right the pandemic, March or April of... Two, there's a lot of restaurants down the street and yep. as soon as they shut down it seemed like we just got rats all over the place you think I we believe, but it was seemed to coincide with that because okay. we didn't have this problem before so then you guys hired orkin they came out and what what did they do when they first got under the property they did a perimeter check they crawled yeah. they went in the attic did not crawl he um the first person that came perimeter check all he did is look up in the attic and saw that there was rat droppings okay. and he put a few traps but he didn't go into the attic that person only did, and so they left traps in the attic, okay. in the basement. There's been, um, that person was replaced after like the second one. They said they gave it this territory to a new new working man. Okay. Very friendly, but all he did was the same thing, just reset traps. A few times his traps were gone. He said, oh, I think the rats took the traps. They're going to disappear. <laughs> they were just going to be gone. So, so, they, so the rats deployed, the rat traps deployed, but they, and they were ran off. They were in the same position as where they were set. Never. Same okay. position. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He even noted it looked like the rats adjusted to the traps. And he just said, yeah. We just kept, at some point, he started setting the plastic, the clear plastic traps. And that did seem to catch him. But he, know, he noted that it was too expensive to keep doing that. So that's when he finally just started giving us poison bars. Okay. So he, then they went to, then, then they went to poison. Yes. Okay. And they were... There were signs of the poisons being chewed? Yes. Yeah. Wow. He always put traps, that's it. Yeah. Trap, 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 mm -hmm. yeah. Have you guys seen any rats inside the house? Only one time. Okay. I, I put the Christmas tree and there was a hole in the chimney. And I don't know about they can come in. I think they toilet. come from in the toilet. There was I found it in the toilet. But there was a hole over there in the chimney. He put a like a little cover with a, a pla no, no, metal something. Uh -huh. like a, and he covered up. I don't know if they're coming from the hole or what. Okay, because your house is spotless, so there's no food source. Oh, no, no. No, no it's clean. <laughs> All the great. time. Yeah. So insulation and and poop mm -hmm. was coming in through this yeah. AC vent? Yeah. This one right here? And oh. everyone. We had to shut them off. And you had to shut the air, air conditioning off. Yeah. Wow. Through the summer months and the beginning of winter until... They stopped eating the poison bars. Unbelievable. Yeah, he's just coming and put the traps and traps. What? Yeah. And I was asking, how they live? If they don't have water, they don't have food. Oh, no, they can still live with the water for the AC. Yeah. I said, no, no, no. Something yeah. happened because I said, how they eat? How? Because I was checking the computer. They say if they don't have water, they cannot live. No, four and, to five days at most. Yeah. I said, how they eat so many months? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, something happened. <laughs> So this is a lot of activity here. Uh, over there was the main. Okay. But sometimes I feel in my bedroom too. In your bedroom, okay. Yeah, and Carlos and here both. And and when was you, when was the last time you heard the noises? Uh, sometimes I hear like a week ago. He okay. hear the same thing a little bit, not little too bit. much like before. There was a lot like if something happened upstairs. Okay. Now I hear not too much. Sometimes, okay. But I hear too. This okay. past Saturday when it was that big windstorm, so it was difficult to determine whether it was the wind or it was um, noises, but at some point the wind stopped and then, yeah, it seemed like they took shelter in our home. Yeah, okay. And the other, this is the other one. Oh, but before that was crazy. And this was the area, that was the toilet where, right it's against that wall. Right in here? Okay. Right there is where. Well, now over there, because the poop coming from there. It seems like the edges, but. Okay. 
That's the toilet where um, oh, she found the dead rat. This was the toilet where you found the rat. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how long ago was that? The nine it's months December ago? December 2020. Okay, got it. About a year and about four, 13 months ago. Okay. And did you tell Orkin that yeah. there was Yeah, a... yeah. That's the reason we hired. And we said, how did it come in? And they said, um, you may have left the door open since we've just been locking the doors after never leave the doors open. They said it probably snuck in. It was probably looking for water and it ran into the house. What do you think it was? There was that, that, that sounds like ridiculous. Orkin for nine months? I wouldn't even know what to say to a client if I was at somebody's house for nine months. It just, it, I, 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 I'm just shocked. I'm literally shocked. You could tell they're pretty frustrated with what's been going on. And they saw sort of the pattern of what Orkin was doing with the rat traps and then they were going off to the poisons. Guys, poisons and trapping is useless unless you can find the actual entry and exit points. I'm telling you that right off the bat. If you have a pest control company that's coming into your home and is just gonna set some traps, that is not the solution. That's just a reoccurring revenue for them to come month after month. You need to stop the entry points, close them, exclude all of the exclusions, and then that's where the trapping becomes super successful. So we have a lot going on today. We're gonna to be doing our smoke test. I'm gonna be evaluating the exterior underneath. So stay tuned, here we go. All right, so the team is getting prepared with uh, the in and out access of the attic, so we've got our plastics here all right so we've got Enrique here kind of taking a look at everything right now so Enrique she was hearing them a lot on that side way over there so it looks like there's plastic vents so here's all the brand new duct system that they had to install it's the last thing you ever want to do is just drop poisons in an attic uh, in a crawl space just for me huge huge no-no I'm gonna head up to the roof Yeah, that's you know, chimney right here, guys. You know, that's the thing is that when you have somebody living in a home and you're hiring a professional, your expectations of that professional are huge. You're thinking that they're gonna do all of the exclusion properly, but look at that chimney. It's not excluded properly. That rat came through the bottom of the chimney, but if you're coming up here, all of these vents should have been covered as part of the exclusion. So for nine months dealing with a home and not being able to solve it, it's, it's just, to me guys, in our industry, it's frustrating. It's so, so frustrating. Hey Enrique, do me a favor. Sniff out each vent and tell me which one do you think is... Smells the worst? Well, yeah. The... We're doing the old sniff vent. Sniff test. Between that one and this one. The metal one or the plastic one? Ooh. Yeah. Oh, I smelled it there. Oh, yes. Yeah, now I got the smell. Right? Yeah. A little bit, right? Yeah, yeah. more than that one for sure. Yeah. Okay, so. I saw the end. We're putting in the smoke where we smell the uh, the most, and this is this vent right here. So those are parrots, you guys, flying around. Wild parrots. Maybe they're looking for rats. Some more poisons. Right off the bat, you guys, right where my light is, there's an open four-inch vent right there that's wide open that goes straight up to the attic. That should have been excluded for sure. They don't have a clean out, so they've got this here. We're gonna to try to remove this. That brass cap is solid. Try to get a cheater in here, because it is. Ready? Just, just try to help you guys. There we go. There we go. Not one you. Nice. All right, here we go. Put our balloon in. We had to remove that, the test plug, and just shove a pile of rags in there because we weren't being able, it was such a short sand tee there, so we're just shoving a bunch of rags in there. All right, I'm going underneath that crawl space do a thorough inspection to see what's going on under there. Uh, Victor's under there as well, so we're gonna head under there. What's up, Victor? Hello. How are we looking? 
Oh, there's an open pipe, huh? Yes, one pipe, both sides open. All right, well, there's plenty of room under here, which is good. ABS piping, original cast iron. Oh, look at this over here, guys. Wow. Wide open. This goes straight up to the attic. Yeah, you can see there's a potential runway right there. I'm gonna go ahead and follow this up to the attic and see where this terminates. If it goes all the way up to the roof or if it terminates inside of the attic. So definitely need to look at this here. Okay, I took the bundle of rags just to monitor to see how much smoke we're getting. And as you can see guys, how important it is when you're doing smoke test to block the main sewer because all of this smoke is going out to the city sewer and that's what you don't want. So I just wanted to verify and see how much smoke we're getting. Okay, we're gonna put the bundle of rags back under inside that pipe. A lot of activity in this area right here. Okay guys, I crawled above the, the bathroom over here. It's a tight, tight area. So I know Oregon wasn't back here and I think we're getting smoke. So I'm gonna continue to crawl here. See the amount of smoke guys that's a lot so now we've got to get in there and figure out what's going on because uh it's a pretty tight squeeze way back up there here's that old pipe the one that we all did a sniff check on on the roof so we're following this and it uh gets over there right in that corner so somehow i'm gonna have to get over there it's a really really tight tight squeeze though okay here we go okay so victor says that this side over here is probably a better way so he's gonna kind of go that way Oh yeah, look at that, Jimmy. Okay guys, so there's the smoke. They never put a cap on it, so the sewer rats were coming right in, right there. Okay. So right here next to the pipe, guys, look at the activity. A lot of rat droppings, excellent find. Nine months, nine months Orkin was dealing with this. This is why poison is trapping. Look at the cable. Mm -hmm. You can see that they've been chewing on the wires. Thank God there's been no fires. I'm super, super, super happy though. Good job, Victor. Yes, thank you. Good job, buddy. I love my team, guys. I love my team. Woo! We got some repairs and some exclusions to do for sure. Okay, guys, so what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna tap on the pipe and see where in the ceiling and wall this goes down because we're gonna to have to do the repair from not only up here, but also uh, down below. Yeah. Do you hear it? Yes, I'm hearing it. Okay, perfect, thank you. A lot of ducting in our way, guys, but you gotta be able to crawl underneath this. A lot of guys will see this and sort of say, oh, I don't need to get over there, but you've gotta make the effort to be able to inspect all the nooks and crannies. If not, these rats will win every time. <sighs> Orkin, if you need me to go to your training center to train some of your guys, be more than happy to do so. This would have been resolved months ago. All right. <laughs> it's time to give Carlos and his mom the biggest, best news of their life right now. Okay, we have some amazing news for you. So we did the smoke test, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. so right there is a broken pipe. See the open pipe right there? So they're dumping here, and look at the... What is that? Out of, that's, that's out right. of the house? No, 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 no. That's right next to the pipe. That's above the bathroom. Right above the bathroom in the right. attic? Yep. Yep, right by the pipe. That's, all, like, that's all crap? It's right there. That's their runway. That's oh. Does that mean the, the poop is upstairs? Yep. Does that mean the one they came, came and cleaned and sanitizer they, didn't clean it? They that? didn't go back there. They didn't oh. go back there. Because they, they came and then nobody see it? Not even the one day sanitizer or nothing? Because they don't, they don't lift the insulation. They don't do the proper in, uh, oh. inspection. Man, they don't know. Yeah, they don't. We got know. taken. They charge us for that. Oh. 
Yeah, it's frustrating, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. That's a lot of crap. This crap was all over the house. Oh yeah, I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure. sure. You're gonna see someone? So what are we looking at? To... Well, I'm, they're gonna show me where because I was hit tapping the yeah. pipes, and so they were showing me what wall and ceiling we have to open up inside the bathroom. So we're gonna okay. go there now. You guys okay. want to follow us? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, it's the so remember when you guys told me, uh -huh. remember when you told me there was a pipe or a rat in the toilet? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's where the broken pipe is. So that makes a lot of sense. So it, they told us it must have been thirsty. The working guy said, oh, it must have been thirsty, ran in and jumped in for water. So yeah. it came through a pipe. It came in through the pipe. It <laughs> had nothing to do with... So remember when I, remember when I told you earlier, mm -hmm. your house is spotless? Have you seen any sort of... Uh, rats right inside the house mm -hmm. and you have it the no, only, the only is this toilet right here so the investigation all of this morning led us to a broken pipe which is the vent pipe for the toilet that's how they got in that means not even for outside nothing only for the pipe right here so if you guys would have solved if you guys would have called us or somebody that has our skill set you wouldn't have had to do this oh for months God. for a year a year yeah, yeah. we've been like a Cat chasing its dog chasing its own tail. Yep. We didn't even know which direction to go. Yeah, so whoever was here on your property didn't know what they were doing. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Carlos and his mom opted for the repair. I did let them know that uh, what needs to happen is we need to open up the ceiling, take out the portion of the pipe. So the crew right now is getting started to cover everything up, covering the bed here. Malik is doing the door containment. We've got the floor completely protected. And then we're going to begin to expose that rat entry point. Pretty cool. They're in there watching our videos of uh, the sewer rats going in. We did an episode with Ryan and I was telling him about the glue board because I've got the bolt glue right now in their oven. Because part of our process right now, obviously, is we want to make sure that we're going to solve this once and for all. See what we can do. But they're watching the video right now. It's pretty neat. That's a great sign, yeah. Okay guys, so we've opened up this hole. And there it is, right there. This is where the rats were coming in and out. You can see the brown secretion and the chew marks on the wiring. Okay, so we've got the wall opened up. We're gonna start the repair here shortly. Get rid of this pipe. All right, so we've got Daniel gonna be doing all the exclusion work up on the roof, all the vents, getting all that done. All right, so we've got all that screened off. Enrique. You hear me? Okay, I'm gonna sing you a song here, okay, in Spanish. Tell me if it's right. Can you hear me? Yes. Como se, en que lugar se enamoró de ti, de donde es? Hey, Jimmy, that song was pretty good. Did you like it? Yeah, it was amazing. So who is the artist? Como se, uh, en que lugar se enamoró de ti? I'm not sure. <laughs> Luis Parales. Luis Parales. I, I think. I think. I know. <laughs> but pretty good though, right? Yeah, it was pretty nice. Nice. Thank you. So the guys are cleaning the bathroom right now, getting all the sanitizing done as well, vetting it out so none of the cross contamination gets inside Carlos's uh, mom's bedroom. Here's the old pipe, guys. There's the old pipe. That's where the rats were coming in. Okay, before we make the connection, we went ahead and put in our 19 gauge, just shoved it way down. So we've got a lot of wire mesh. So that way they don't come back in, just as an extra precaution. Again, there's no water flowing through here. This is just air, so we're not blocking anything. So if anybody that's curious, like, hey, why are you putting stuff in the pipe? Isn't it gonna clog? It's just air ventilation for this toilet. So. That's why we're doing it this way here. Just again, extra added protection. Okay, so we've got the new pipe in, the new vent. So that's all strapped in. We'll put a plate strap here prior to the drywall being patched. So that way it'll protect it. That's done there. We're gonna set up a camera up here. We're also gonna set up some snap traps. I was thinking about maybe the glue, putting the glue board, but you can see it's all disinfected and clean, guys. A little bit of foam back there, but that's uh, it's all clean. Hey guys, I also want to make it very clear. I'm not here 
bashing another company. It just happens to be Orkin. They're really, really upset. So it's not about me coming onto this job and bashing Orkin. So I want to make that very, very clear. It's just, it's one of those things where, you know, I'm just, I take it to heart when any pest control, whether it's Orkin or Terminex or, you know, a mom and pop, whatever it is, I would expect the same thing if I were to come onto a job and be here for nine months as well. So just wanted to sort of make that clear that I'm not here bashing any other company. All right, guys, it's been a long day and uh, we've doing the final cleanup. We've set our traps. We've done all of the exclusion work. We've done the plumbing repair. So now it's just a matter of monitoring over the next four to seven to 10 days because I can tell that they're a little freaked out. She's still worried because it's, it's psychologically, guys, when you go through this, you can't believe that it's over because it's a constant battle with these rats for so long. So when I come in, there's some comfort, but there's also some reservation is, do we really have this tackled? So I've got to be able to prove that. So I'm happy with the results today for sure though. Hey Daniel, David's not here today. So we need some type of rat dance. What do you got? Show us. <laughs> I like it, I like it. Hey Enrique, let's see your rat dance. What do you got? I like it. I don't know if you can compete with David though. We'll see. Hey guys, leave your comments down below. Which rat dance, which rat dance do you like? Do you like Daniel's or do you like Enrique's? So leave in the comments. Well, you guys, we've got everything cleaned up. The yeah. team is gone. So how do you feel? You feel much better? Oh yeah, I feel a lot better and I trust him and I feel confident about his job. You know? I appreciate that. Well, thanks for having this out today. Truly, truly appreciate it. And we're going to monitor for the next four to five days. Uh, but I really feel super, super comfortable with, uh, with you having no more rats in your, in okay. your house. And I feel the same way. And I trust you. I feel comfortable for the first time in a year. I love it. I love it. Nothing, nothing better to feel like that. You guys, when you get a customer to say, I finally feel comfortable in my home. I'm uh, a lot of gratitude for today. Great job with the team and Carlos and his mom has been great to work with. So monitoring and we're going to find out what happens guys, but awesome, awesome find today. Well guys, after several weeks of monitoring, Carlos and his mom text me saying, Jim, we are good. Thank you so much. They've got a lot of gratitude for what we did. Guys, leave your comments down below. Love to hear what you'd have to say about this episode. Hit that subscribe button. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.